short-term weak data, and I don't think it, I don't think it changes what the Fed already told us they were going to do sort of in December, uh, particularly as, as we've seen now uh, that they're tapping on the brakes. They've moved to the sideline. They had their hike. And we heard from uh, uh, Lael Brainerd uh, last week uh, in Steve Leisman's interview, very important interview, suggesting that even the runoff of the Fed's portfolio might be paused over the, over the summer. Uh, uh, Fed President uh, Mester, uh, Loretta Mester, uh, and I were speaking on Tuesday, and she said, you know, she didn't nail it down to the summer, but she thought that that was a reasonable time. She also said that there was no recession on her forecast for the next three years. So we're hearing some positive messages from the Fed. The market, of course, has already advanced pretty well on that news, but I think this looks to be kind of a smooth sailing, at least from the perspective of monetary policy okay. for stocks. Joe Tanius, where would you uh, recommend investors' position right now? Well, I think it's recognizing that there are uh, some pretty meaningful differences today relative to uh, a lot of the headlines and a lot of the risks that we were facing back in December. And I think that's part of the reason why markets have rallied to the extent that they have. Uh, the economic data still suggests that the economy is expanding, although we are off of our cyclical peaks. Uh, and I think you have to recognize we've seen a, a pretty powerful market rally just so far this year. And it's quite possible the vast majority of the gains in the market uh, for this business cycle are, are behind us. Uh, for that reason, we continue to recommend that investors proceed with a little bit of caution. Uh, we want to sell a little bit into this market strength. It doesn't suggest that you take risk off the table entirely, uh, but perhaps it is prudent to take incremental steps at de-risking a portfolio into the market strength. So, uh, Michael, uh, amen to what Joe just said. We've seen yes. a rally off the lows yeah. uh, of, of almost 20%, yeah. depending on which barometer you look at. Is the, has the market therefore discounted too too much or all it's going to positive news on trade and what's and and is that a banana peel out there well it, it you always ask tougher questions i think uh, i think what joe said was very important though because you know what what drove the market down and the risk that we saw in, in december i think more clearly that we see now in the rearview mirror was the fed I mean, the Fed raising rates then, were they going to raise rates more? They moved to the sideline and stocks go back up. So I think that that's probably the biggest driver now. I think there's still more upside, Tyler, to answer your question. Should we get a material trade resolution? It probably is going to be a more kick the can down the road. But there's still room over the balance of the year for stocks to see an upside surprise from a positive trade resolution with China. Could there be a banana peel underneath that, too? Because what happens if we don't get anything from China? We see another return with a risk uh, returning to stocks. 